Hello. I saw something I consider as a nice fit. You know, I was among the people, you know, having been listening to some particular set of people. I was saying the Anambra Airport project was like a white elephant project. But now I will no longer say that. I have seen the viability of that project. Now you need to hear the records. Um, you need to hear this so that you understand. You know, as a new airport, I was like, I, I, I've been curious to know uh, what it generates. Now, listen, listen carefully. Um, there is a new pu um, publication. I saw Anambra Airport records 4,000 flights, 250,000 passengers in just two years. This is coming from the MD, MD of the airport. This is a new airport. Just two years ago, it was launched uh, while Obiano's um, tenure was wrapping up. So I was like, where are they building these airports? I would also like to hear about that of Ebony. But for Nambra, now, um, I, I was among those who also saw it as White Elephant Project. But now, I will no longer say that. Now, and according to this record, you know, Anambra Airport is now called Chino Achebe's International Cargo Airport. That is what it's called. Uh, now, um, they said in its two years of operation, the Chino Achebe International Cargo Airport, CAICA, Kaika, marks significant achievements, overcoming challenges and contributing to economic growth. We like to hear this. This is what we like to hear. Um, in an interview conducted by a Vanguard newspaper, airport managing director Martin Wafo said that the airport's success is evident in its impressive record of 4,000 flights, 4,000 flights, and 250,000 passenger movements, signaling a positive trajectory for an emerging hub. A two years old airport. <laughs> I like that. Though uh, there was a time I complained about the airports, uh, but my complaint was constructive. Mm. I was saying um, the airports um, has some. Okay, there was a time the roof of the airports was going off, being blown by the wind, some parts of the airport. I was like, <laughs> I thought this is a new airport. It's not supposed to start behaving like this at this point in time. We're not supposed to hear of such. Meanwhile, I think it has been fixed, but I am so happy this project is not a white elephant project. The project is yielding results. And that is what I have come to bring to you. And I wish I can also um, probe into that of a boy. We need to know how functional it is. So, Listen again, 4,000 flights and 250,000 passenger movements. You know, Anambra people are more business people. Though it's still, for me, I think it's still domestic. It's not yet international, but we had it was built to international standard. But then, within two years, recording such number of flights and passengers, that is a nice fit. Yes, that is a nice fit. Okay, according to the director, the success is multifaceted. Um, okay, he said with a focus on public acceptance, system viability, and sustainability. Okay, according to them, it is starting with three major restrictions, including visual flight rules, VFR, category B aircraft, and category 5 aerodrome rescue and firefighting services. The airport now operates at ARFFS Category 6, accommodating Boeing 737 to 800 and its equivalent. That's an improvement. This is not what it started with. It started with Category B now um, and Category 5. Now it has moved to Category 6. Uh, okay, then it was um, accommodating certain type of aircraft now Boeing 737 to 800 remember it is an airport that is new 
with time, more improvements. And then when he was asked about the challenges they had, he said, as with any new venture, Saika, that's um, Chino Achebe International Cargo Airport, whenever he had Saika or Kaika, he said, faced initial challenges, issues such as um, incomplete facilities, absence of aircraft refueling companies and operational fund constraints were addressed proactively you know as they progressed they were you know improving notably the calibration of critical system like uh, the instrument landing system and airfields lights um, funded by the state governor reflects a commitment to overcoming hurdles uh, so, just like every other business, it is not easy to start. But with time, they were overcoming challenges and they were improving. They did not remain where at the level they started. They improved with time. And this is what we want to hear. Sincerely, I have not really had much about the airport since the time... The, it is since its inception, the time the first flight landed, I've not really had much. I was thinking it wasn't that functional. Now it has given us a ray of hope that certain things are happening there and patronize that airport. By God's grace, in a matter of time, we'll be there to see for ourselves too. Not just um, hearing from the manager. Meanwhile, thanks for watching. Share this video widely. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.